final leg back here to finish off the series talking about the lead into the 2020 Olympic season we're going to be ending things with the women's throwers who are going to be making an impact this year first we have the women's shot put where we have Li Zhao Gong from China she has been really consistent over the past decade or so having made every single world and Olympic final since 2008 the Beijing Olympics that year she got the bronze medal in 2008 9 11 and 2013 2012 and 15 she managed to get the silver medal at the shot put then 2017 and 19 those were the big years where she grabbed the gold medal in the shot put 2016 at the Olympics is the only year where she didn't finish on the podium she got fourth place at the Olympics that year so she's definitely going to be looking for some redemption in Tokyo she has a personal best of 20.43 meters so she's definitely going to be shooting for the gold medal spot in Tokyo this year also in the shot put from Jamaica we have Daniel Thomas Dodge she's been really consistently on the rise the past couple years we saw her in Beijing 2015 get 22nd in the shot put then in 2016 in Rio she got 25th but in 2017 she stepped things up big time got fourth place just missing the podium 2019 though it was a big year where she managed to grab that silver medal behind Gong in the shot put in Doha she has a personal best of 19.55 meters so a little bit behind 20 meters but she's definitely going to be again on that rise going for another spot on the podium in Tokyo now let's move over to the women's discus store where we have three ladies who are really separating themselves from the rest of the field first from Cuba we have Yami Perez she's been been really on the cusp of making it onto the podium the past couple years 2015 and 2017 she got fourth place just missing out on a medal but 2019 was a really big year for her first off in the season she managed to throw a personal best of 69.39 meters in this year leading into Doha then she went to Doha managed to grab that gold medal in another great performance of 69.17 meters which is the third best performance that she's ever had in her career she's definitely going to be going for a spot on the podium in Tokyo this year year back in Rio she unfortunately fouled all of her attempts in the final didn't get a chance to challenge for a medal so she's going to be looking for some redemption in Tokyo this year now her fellow countrywoman also from Cuba we have Dina Caballero she has been a lot more consistent than Perez 2015 she was actually the world champion in the discus throw then we saw in 2016 she got the bronze medal and 2019 this past year she got the silver medal she also has a personal best of 70.65 meters which makes her number 22 all time in the discus throw so so definitely going to be looking for another podium spot in Tokyo this year. Now the big name in the discus throw we all know is Sandra Perkovic from Croatia. She has been the most dominant discus thrower and one of the most dominant athletes over the past decade. She's a two-time Olympic champion from 2012 and 2016. She also has world championship titles from 2013 and 2017. In 2019 she got the bronze medal in the discus throw and she also got silver in 2015 at those world championships. Her personal best though is 71 1.41 meters which makes her number 16 all time in the discus throw so a huge huge performance from her that was actually the farthest throw in the event since 1992 so she's definitely going to be looking for some redemption again after getting the bronze medal in the Doha World Championships this past year going for that gold again in Tokyo now moving over to the women's hammer throw first off from the United States we have Deanna Price she's been a really young runner who's on the rise over the past couple years we saw her in 2015 16 and 17 make it to the championships those year but didn't finish higher than eighth in any of those championships 2019 was a big year for her though she went to the united states trials up in july she managed to throw a huge american record of 78.24 meters she followed things up at the doha world championships grabbing the gold medal the first gold medal ever for the united states in the hammer throw really setting herself up well going into the tokyo 2020 olympic year from china we also have wang zhang she has been very consistent in the hammer over the past couple years we saw in 2013 and 2019 get the bronze medal at the world championships also in 2017 she managed to get the silver medal at the world championships in london that year she has a personal best of 77.68 meters which makes her number six all time in the hammer throw so definitely challenging for another spot on the podium in tokyo finally we know the top woman in the hammer throw anita the doll chick from poland she has been the most dominant hammer thrower and probably one of the most dominant athletes over the past decade she actually won every single gold medal in the hammer throw since 2009 the only gold medal that she missed out on was in 2019 because she pulled out of the season early due to injury but she again has every single gold medal since 2009 she has the world record which she broke four times over the course of her career current standing world record of 82.98 meters huge huge performance for her she's definitely going to be going for a defense of her two olympic titles going into tokyo 2020 this year now let's finish things off with the women's javelin throw first from china we have 
Weiwei Lu. She's been very consistent throughout the seasons over the past couple years. Not as consistent when it comes to the championships, but 2015 at the Beijing World, she got the silver medal. Then 2017 and 2019, she got the bronze medal at those world championships. She has a personal best of 67.98 meters from 2019, which makes her number 10 all time in the javelin throw. In 2016 at the Rio Olympics, she only finished seventh in the final. So definitely gonna be looking for some redemption when it comes to Tokyo this year. Finally, from Australia, we have Kelsey Lee Barber, kind of a late bloomer in the event. Her first championships was in 2017 when she finished 10th in that world championships in London. But then in 2019, things really broke out for her. In the season, she managed to throw a huge personal best of 67.70 meters, which moved her to number 12 all time in the javelin throw. She managed to go on to the Doha World Championships and get the gold medal there. She's going to be looking to really continue that streak and go for gold in Tokyo. So definitely keep a lookout for Kelsey Lee Barber. All right, so those are some of the ladies to look out for in the throwing events in 2020 this year leading into the Olympics. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let me know some of the ladies that I miss. Let me know some of the ladies that you're looking out for. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and be back again in the next video. Thanks.